Minute Math, Minute Math. When you need help, you use Minute Math. I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today, we're going to learn about solving multi-step equations. We're going to solve each equation. So if I was given this equation, 4n minus 2n equals 4. Well, my first step is I want to combine my like terms on the same side. The two terms I see here are 4n and a 2n. So I'm subtracting a 4n minus a 2n, and that just becomes a 2n. Bring down the 4 there, so now we have 2n equals 4. Well, I need to divide by 2 to both sides because I'm multiplying by 2 right here. I have to do the opposite. I bring it over the equal sign. And then the left-hand side, well, 2, two n divided by 2 is just n. And the right-hand side, 4 divided by 2 is 2. And that is it. Our final answer here is just n equals 2. Negative 12 equals 2 plus 5b plus 2b. <clears throat> well, what I want to do is I want to combine my like terms on one side of the equation and bring all my numbers to the other side. Well, I can do that in one step here. Okay? So what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to subtract a 2 to both sides. Okay? And in doing so, when I subtract the 2 to both sides, I'm leaving my two variables on the right, and I'm subtracting 2 from my numbers to the left, so negative 12 minus 2 is negative 14. And that equals, I'm going to combine these two right here. So 5v plus 2v comes out to be just a 7v. Okay? Now you can do each one uh, step individually, but I kind of like to combine them here. So now I'm dividing by 7, or I'm going to divide by 7 because I'm multiplying by 7 times the v. Divide by 7 of both sides, okay? And so we're left with v by itself here on the right, and negative 14 divided by 7, which is negative 2 on the left. Now I can rewrite this to have v first because I think it's a little nicer that way. And our final answer here is v equals a negative 2. 3 equals x plus 3 minus 5x. Well, what I want to do is get all my numbers to one side and all my variables to the other. So, I'm going to subtract the 3 to both sides. So, I'm going to bring this, my only number here on the right-hand side and subtract it to both sides. Opposite addition, subtraction. 3 minus 3 is just 0. So, we have a 0 there equals x. This disappears right through minus 3. disappears 0 minus 5x. So now what I'm going to do is combine my like terms here on the, on the right. Okay, 0 still comes down. And x minus the 5x is a minus 4x. Okay? Pretty simple so far. So be careful here. Okay? A lot of people want to, I don't know what they do. They say, oh, x just doesn't exist. I don't know why. Multiplication is going on between the negative 4 and the x. I'm going to divide by negative 4 to both sides. By dividing by negative 4 to both sides, I have x by itself on the right. And 0 divided by negative 4 is a 0 on the left. So now we have our final answer. I can write x point first is x equals 0. Okay? So our solution here is just x equals 0. x plus 3 minus 3 equals negative 6. Well, I want to combine my like terms on each side. So I have a 3 minus 3. Those are my like terms. I can see they're both numbers, right? So 3 minus 3 comes out to be a 0. So we have x plus 0 here. Well, is x plus 0 anything? No, I don't know. It's just x, right? So 0 doesn't do anything, so it's just x. We bring down the negative 6. This one's actually fairly simple. Our final answer here is just x equals negative 6. Negative 12 equals 3 minus 2k, minus 3k. Well, what I want to do is I'm going to bring my like terms together on one side and combine my like terms on each side, in a sense. So I have my variables here on the right, and I see a number and a number on the left. So I'm going to bring this number over. I'm going to subtract a 3 to both sides. Negative 12 minus a 3 is a negative 15. And then if we can, uh, if we can see that, we can combine these two right here in this one step. So negative 2k minus 3k is a negative 5k. Okay? So we have a negative 5k there. Well, now we have multiplication between a negative 5 and a k. So opposite multiplication division, I'm going to divide by negative 5 to both sides. And negative 15 divided by a negative 5, a negative divided by a negative is a positive. 
and 15 divided by is 3, so we have a positive 3 there, and we're just left with k on the right. So let's rewrite this to have k come first, and our final answer is just k equals 3. Negative 1 equals negative 3r plus 2r. Well, what I want to do is combine my like terms on each side. Negative 1 is by itself on the left, and my two like terms on the right are negative 3 and a positive 2r. When I combine those together, negative 3r plus a 2r, that just gives me a negative 1r, or a negative r. So the negative 1 is here on the left. Well, that negative r is really like well, um, multiplied by a negative 1 out in front. I can divide by negative 1, or I can multiply both sides by a negative 1. So let's go to divide by a negative 1 to both sides. And what that does is I know negative divided by negative is a positive. Our goal is making R to be positive right here. So we have a positive R right there. It's kind of like a, there we go. I'll make it worse. Okay, positive R there. And then negative 1 divided by negative 1 is a positive 1. So we have R isolated by itself now. Um, and we have our answer is just 1. So R equals 1. Let's write it where R comes first. So we have R equals 1 right there. And there we go. That's our final answer. 6 equals negative 3 times x plus 2. Well, what I see here is I see a multiplication. I see a negative 3 times whatever this is in the parentheses. Normally, I would just distribute that out. Let's we'll do something different this time. I'm going to divide by negative 3 of both sides. Since there's that multiplication, I'm going to divide it by negative 3. Okay? Well, by doing that, I'm left with just 6 divided by negative 3, which is a negative 2 on the left, and then on the right, what's left in the pencil? x plus 2. Okay? So then from there, all I have to do is subtract a 2 to both sides. And negative 2 minus 2 is a negative 4. And that is equal to just my x on the right. Rewrite that. x comes first. We have x equals a negative 4 as a final answer. So I did it a little differently but um, than I would normally do by distributing. But you can see how it's still to get to our final answer. Negative 3 times 4r minus 8 equals a negative 36. Well, I see a multiplication going on here. Multiplication, negative 3 times in my parentheses. Opposite of uh, multiplication division. So actually, I'm going to divide by negative 3 to both sides. And what that does, it doesn't make me distribute that negative 3. I just bring it over to the right. Okay? I want to the 4r minus 8 in the left, look inside the parentheses. But on the right here, Negative 36 divided by negative 3 is a positive 12. So then from there, we're solving for r, so let's go bring everything else over. We add an 8 to both sides here. 12 plus 8 is a 20. We have 4r on the left. Obviously, multiplication division, so I'm going to divide by 4 to both sides. And that leaves me with r by itself here equals 20 divided by 4, which is just 5. So our final answer here is just r equals 5. 24 equals 6 times negative x minus 3. Well, what I see here is I see there's a multiplication between 6 and what's inside the parentheses. So, what I'm going to do is divide by 6 to both sides. By doing that, I'm leaving what's left in the parentheses on the left, negative x minus 3, I was inside there, and then 24 divided by 6 being a 4 on the left. So now I just want to solve for x, or I always did, but I'm simplifying here, so I'm just going to add a 3 to both sides. So we have a positive 7 equals a negative x. Well, that negative x right there can turn into a positive x. I need to divide by a negative 1 to both sides, leaving me with just x by itself on the right, and 7 divided by negative 1 being negative 7 on the left. So, x is already by itself. I can rewrite x to come first. x equals a negative 7, and that is the final answer. Equals 3 times negative 6n minus 5. Well, if I was saying that 75 equals 3 times negative 6n minus 5, I see that there's a multiplication right there. That multiplication I can uh, do the opposite of that, which is division, to divide a 3 to both sides. What that does is leave me with what's, what, what's left in the parentheses on the right, negative 6n minus 5. Okay, on the right-hand side. On the left, 75 divided by 3 is just a 25. Okay? So now we're just uh, 
keep whittling things down again and by itself. I'm going to add a 5 to both sides. That gives me 25 plus 5 is 30. And then it brings down a negative 6. Heck. From there, I had to divide by a negative 6 of both sides. Right? Up to multiplication, divide by negative 6 of both sides. That leaves me with n by itself on the right, and 30 divided by negative 6 is a negative 5 on the left. Now we can rewrite this as n come first, so n equals negative 5, and there we go. Our final answer. Negative 3 plus 6r equals 14 minus r. So my first step here is I'm going to distribute that minus 3 uh, into our parentheses here. So I'm going to take the minus 3 times by the 1, the minus 3, right? Negative 3 times 1 is a negative 3. And then negative 3 times the positive 6r is a negative 18r. We can bring down the 14 and the minus r right there. So now what we want to do is bring all of our like terms together, okay? So we're going to bring all of our r's to one side and all of our numbers to the other side. So let's go add an r to both sides right here. Let's bring our r's to the left. And then I'm going to bring my number to the right. So I'm going to add a 3. All right. Well, a negative 18 plus r comes out to be a negative 17r. The negative 3 and positive 3 cancel. The negative r and positive r cancels. But the 14 plus the 3 when I brought it over is a positive 17. So now we have a negative 17r equals 17. We need to divide by a negative 17 to both sides. That's the opposite of the multiplication going on there. Divide by a negative 17. This leaves us with a positive r on the left, and 17 divided by a negative 17 is a negative 1, and that's going to be on the right, negative 1. Okay? So there we have it. Our final answer here is just r is equal to a negative 1. 6, type parentheses, 6v plus 6 minus 5 equals 1 plus 6v. So what I want to do here is I'm going to simplify each side of parentheses first, okay? Get all my like terms together. So to do that, I have to multiply or distribute the 6 to both parts. 6 times 6v is a 36v, and 6 times a 6 is a 36. We have a minus 5 right here, and that's equal to 1 plus 6v. So now I can still simplify. 36 minus 5 is a 31, so we have 36v plus 31, uh, right? 36 minus 5 is 31, equals 1 plus 6v. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring my v's to the left and my numbers to the right. I'm going to subtract the 6v to both sides there, right? And then I'm going to subtract the 31. What that allows me to do is have, okay, 36v minus 6v is just 30v equals 1 minus 31 is a negative 30. Okay? So now we have 30v equals a negative 30. I have to get v by itself still, so I divide by 30 with both sides. That leaves me with v here by itself. Negative 30 divided by 30 is a negative 1. And there we have it. Our final answer here is just v equals negative 1. Negative 4, okay, plus 2 times parentheses 5k minus 6 equals the negative 3k minus 39. Okay. Well, first thing I want to do is simplify on each side of the uh, equal sign. So I'm going to distribute now this 2 to the 5k and the minus 6. So we bring on the minus 4k right here. 2 times 5k is 10k. And 2 times minus 6 is minus 12. And that's equal to negative 3k minus 39. So now let's combine the like terms again on each side of the equation. Negative 4k uh, plus 10k is a positive 6k. Minus 12 equals negative 3k minus 39. So from here, I'm going to combine my like terms. I'm going to bring my variables to the left and my numbers to the right. So I'm going to add a 3k to both sides. And I'm going to add a 12 to both sides. That leaves me with 6k plus 3k, which is 9k, 
equal to, right, the 12s cancel, and these 3Ks cancel, to negative 39 plus 12K. That comes out to be negative 27. So now I have 9K equals a negative 27. I divide by a 9 of both sides, I get K by itself. Okay, I'm left with K here by itself, and negative 27 divided by 9 is a negative 3. So our final answer here is just k equals a negative 3. Negative 16 plus a 5n is equal to a negative 7 times negative 6 plus 8n plus a 3. Okay, so what I want to do here is I want to simplify on either side of the equation first. The left-hand side, nothing I can simplify, so I'm going to bring it down. Negative 16 plus 5n. 5 there first. And 5n. I'm going to distribute this negative 7 across to both parts of the parentheses. Negative 7 times a negative 6 is a positive 42. And negative, uh, uh, negative 7 times a positive 8 is a negative 56n. That's 8n right there. Okay? And then we add a 3 on the side. From there, from there, I can combine my left terms again on each side. 42 and a 3 I'm going to combine. So we bring down the negative 16 plus 5m. And 42 plus 3 is a 45 minus 56m. Okay, so now it's up to you where you want to go with this. Uh, what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to bring my variables to the left here. I'm going to add a 56m to both sides. And I'm going to add a 16 to both sides this way. Keep everything positive, and my variable is already on my left. 5n plus 56n comes out to be a oh, 61, 61, uh, yeah, 61n, and that's equal to 45 plus 16, which is also a 61. Funny how that happens, right? 61n equals 61. I then have to get n by itself, so I divide by 61 to both sides. That leaves me with n isolated. 61 divided by 61 is just 1. And there we go. Our final answer here is just n equals 1. P. Plus 9. Minus 11. Minus p. Is equal to a negative 2 times 2p plus 4. Minus 3 times 2p minus 2. Okay. So what we're going to do is simplify on each side of the equation until we get down to a simple form on, on either side individually. Okay. Basically combining our like terms there. So we have a 9 minus 11, which comes out to be, well, 9 minus 11 there, uh, comes out to be a negative 2. So we have a negative 2 here. Okay. And then I'm going to find the 10p and the minus p, which comes out to be a 9p. So we have a 9p minus 2. Okay? So 9 minus 11 gave me the negative 2, minus 2, and then 10p minus this p is a 9p right there. Okay. So now I'm going to distribute now on the right-hand side uh, negative 2 times 2p, which is negative 4p, and then negative 2 times 4 is a negative 8. And then... Uh, I'm going to distribute this minus 3 across, so we have a minus 3 times a 2p, which is a minus 6p, and a minus 3 times a minus 2, which is a positive 6. Okay, so now on the right-hand side, we still have to keep simplifying there. I'm going to combine my like terms again. So I'm going to bring down this 9p here, minus 2 on the left. And on the right, let's go combine our like terms. Minus 4p minus 6p is a minus 10p, and minus 8 and a positive 6 here is a minus 2. Okay, so now we have 9p minus 2 equals negative 10p minus 2. So what I'm going to do is bring my variables to the left and my numbers to the right. I'm going to add a 10p to both sides. Right here. And I'm going to add a 2 to both sides. That leaves me with 9p plus 10p, which is 19p. <laughs> right, 19, right? I'm just making it worse. And then negative 2 plus 2 is 0. So be careful here. Uh, a lot of times students, when they see zero, they kind of get freaked out and the answer is zero, okay, right away, which could be true, okay? But don't just like kind of freak out and jump there. Let's understand why. So if I divide by 19 to both sides, okay, I divide by 19 to both sides, I'm going to P by itself, right? That equals zero divided by 19, which is zero, okay? 
So in this case, it does equal zero, but I want you to understand what's happening here. We divide by 19 of both sides. There, we still have to do that step, which gives us zero by um, ourself. And by doing that step, it shows that we really understand that, or how P becomes zero. Minus 10 and plus 3 times 8 plus 8 and equals a, ne uh, equals a negative 6 times n minus 4. Okay. So what I want to do from here, I'm going to simplify both sides of the equal sign. So uh, what I need to do is distribute the 3 across both sides of that parenthesis. So negative 10 n here, distribute that 3. 3 times 8 is 24, and 3 times 8 n is a 24n. We'll do the same thing with the negative 6. Negative 6 times n is a negative 6n, and negative 6 times a minus 4 is a positive 24. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to simplify again, keep going on each side of the equation sign individually. The negative 10 and 24n come out to be a 14n. And we add a 24, bring that down. So we combine our n's there. On the left-hand side, there's nothing that we can combine. Okay, so minus 6n and plus 24. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my variables to the left and my numbers to the right. I'm going to add a 6n to both sides, right here, and I'll subtract a 24 to both sides. That leaves me with 6, uh, 14 uh, n plus 6n, which is a 20n, is equal to, now notice this, right, 24 minus 24 cancels out, that's just a 0. So we have 20n equals a 0. So now from there, that's what's kind of left here, we need to divide by 20 to both sides. That leaves us n by itself here, n by itself, and 0 divided by 20 is 0. So our final answer here is just n equals 0. 10 times x plus 3 minus negative 9x minus 4 equals x minus 5 plus 3. Well, what I want to do here is I want to combine my like terms on the left and the right hand side. And to do so, I have to distribute. Right? So I'm going to distribute actually here. I distribute the 10 across. So you have 10 times x, which is 10x, and 10 times 3, which is 30. From there, I also have to distribute this minus sign. The minus sign gets distributed. Negative times a negative is a positive, so we have a positive 9x here. And negative times a negative again is a positive, so we have a positive 4. On the right hand side, you can combine our like terms. Negative 5 plus 3 is just a negative 2, so we have x minus 2 there. So I'm going to do the same thing now to the left hand side, combine my like terms. My 10x and 9x can combine together to be a 19x, and my 30 plus a 4 is a 34. We bring down the x minus 2 on the right. Now, let's bring our variables to the left and my numbers to the right. So let's subtract an x here to both sides. Okay, subtract x both sides, left with 18x right there, and that's equal to, well, we subtract a 34 to both sides. And we're with negative 2 minus 34, which is a negative 36. Okay? So now we have 18x equals a negative 36. I'm going to get x by itself. So I divide by 18 to both sides, right there, leaving the x here by itself is equal to a negative 36 divided by 18, which is a negative 2. And there we have it. Our final answer, x equals negative 2. 12 times 2k plus 11 is equal to 12 times 2k plus 12. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify on each side of the equal sign. I'm going to distribute the 12 across first. So 12 times 2k, which is a 24k, plus 12 times 11, which I saved here, which is 132. That's equal to 12 times 2k, which is a 24k. Let's go distribute this again. 12 again. And 12 times 12 is a 144. Okay. So now let's simplify. Let's bring our numbers to the left, our variables to the left and the numbers to the right. So we subtract 24k to both sides here. And I'm going to subtract 132 to both sides. I'm left now with 24k minus 24k, and what they're going to is number 32. This is 0, right? So there's a 0 on the left hand side. On the right hand side, 24k minus 24k eliminates, which is 0. But 144 minus 132 is a uh, 12. Right, we have a positive 12 here. So now we have a 0 
equals a 12. So what happens there? Well, does 0 equal 12? No, 0 does not equal 12. That's false. Since we came to something where a number equals another number, and it wasn't true, it wasn't equal, this is no solution. Meaning that there is no solution, no number that we can plug in for k that makes this equation true. So again, our final answer here is just no solution. Minus 12, negative 12, times x minus 12 equals negative 9 times 1 plus 7x. All right. So now what I want to do is I'm going to distribute, all right, simplify each side of the equal signs. I'm going to distribute the negative 12 across. Negative 12 times x is negative 12x. Negative 12 times negative 12 is a positive 144. Okay. Then we have the negative 9. So let's distribute the negative 9 across. Negative 9 times 1 is a negative 9. And negative 9 times 7x is a negative 63x. So what I want to do now is combine my like terms. I'm going to bring my variables to the left and my numbers to the right. So I'm going to add a 63x to both sides. And I'm going to subtract a 144 to both sides. That leaves me with negative 12x plus 63x, which really comes out to be a 51, 51x, 51 51x right there, and then negative 9 minus 144, okay, uh, minus 144 is a, let's add that, negative 153, okay, we have minus 153 here, okay, so now we have 51x equals the minus 153. What are the odds that 51 goes into 153 three times, right? So let's go check it out. 153 divided by 51 is just 3. Fantastic. So I'm going to divide by 51 to both sides here. I'm left with x by itself, and negative 153 divided by 51 is just a negative 3, and there we have it. Our final answer here is just x equals a negative 3. Negative 11 plus 10 times p plus 10 is equal to 4 minus 5 times 2p plus 11. Okay. Well, what I want to do is simplify each side of the equal sign. So what I need to do is, is distribute that 10 across here. So I have a negative 11 plus 10 times p, which is 10p, and 10 times 10, which is 100. Right-hand side, I'm kind of doing the same thing. I have a 4 here. And I'm distributing the minus 5 across. So minus 5 times 2p is a minus 10p. And minus 5 times 11 is a negative 55. So now let's go simplify on each side of the equal sign a little bit more here. Combine on like terms. So negative 11 plus 100, right? Uh, the 10p just comes down. But negative 11 plus 100, we can combine those to get an 89. So we have an 89, a positive 89 right there. Same thing on the right. The negative 10p will bring out here, negative 10p. And then we have a 4 and a minus 55. That can come together to be a minus 51. Okay. So now let's go bring our like terms together. Let's bring our variable p's to the left and our numbers to the right. So I'm going to add a 10p to both sides. And I'll subtract an 89 to both sides. 10p plus 10p is a 20p. And on the right hand side, Negative 51 minus an 89, well, the 9, 1 gives us 10 carry the 1, and four, 140. So one, double check, yeah, 140. So we have negative 140 here. Okay? So now we're going to divide by 20 to both sides to get P by itself. And P goes into negative 140, negative 7 times. Right? Yeah, negative 7 times. Negative 7 times. And so our final answer here is P equals a negative. So, explain. Explain two ways you could solve right here twenty equals five times a minus three. So they want to ask us um, for two ways we can solve that. Well, 
The two ways that I'm thinking um, is I can either A, first scenario, divide by a 5 to both sides first. So by dividing a 5 to both sides, get rid of that parenthesis, go and distribute, and I'm left with a 4 equals the negative 3 plus x, and then add a 3 to both sides. The other way I can do this is to distribute the 5 to both sides first, and then bring my like terms over, my numbers over. So let's go show that. Let's go, let's go do this both ways. I'm going to write the problem a second time right here. 20 equals 5 times a negative 3 plus x. So the first one here, um, my first method I mentioned, let's go divide by 5. So if we divide by 5 to both sides, that's the opposite of multiplication right there. 20 divided by 5 is a 4, and that's left with a negative 3 plus x on the right. From there, I then add a 3 to both sides, get x by itself, and we have 7 equals x, okay, right there, and we can rewrite that to be x equals 7, have x come first, all right? So when I divide it first by 5 to both sides, I got the final answer of x equals 7. Let's try distributing. So if I distribute the 5 across, so we have 20 right here, 5 times negative 3 is a negative 15, and 5 times x is a 5x. Well. What I want to do now is go add a 15 to both sides, get x by itself, so we add a 15 to both sides, leaving me 20 plus 15, which is a 35, equals 5x. I'm going to divide by 5 to both sides, 35 divided by 5 is 7, equals x, rewrite that to the x comes first, x equals 7, and there we go. These two are the same, they're exactly the same, so we're good, and our final answer is just x equals 7 here. Right, but we, we solved it two different ways. Right? Math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minutemathtutor.com